Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today is a very exciting one because I am going to be trying some Five Angel products. And I reached out to them because I really wanted to work with them and try out some of their products. And they said yes. So I'm so, so excited because I've been wanting to try these for so long. I've seen other videos about these Tippex nails and I just wanted to try them so badly because they looked really, really cool. So they actually sent me two items. So this is the first box I am going to unbox for you guys and show you everything that is in it. So it comes with 120 nail tips and basically everything you need to do your own Gelex nails. The nail tips, the base gel, the nail glue, and a nail lamp. So here first we have the instruction manual. And by the way, their packaging is so cute. I love all of the purple and everything. Um, so yeah, that is just the instruction manual. Next we have this nail lamp, this miniature nail lamp which is um, the type of nail lamp that is great for doing gel -X nails. So it's good that they included this nail lamp. It's just super easy to like hold your nail in place and then cure it. And I will be testing probably all of these products out in this video. Next, there is a little nail file. And my guess is it is 100, 180 grit. And then there is also something else over here. Um, it looks like just the cord for this nail lamp. Next thing, it looks like a base gel. I'll just open it up so you guys can see what it looks like. And then this is really interesting. I have never seen a gel -X glue in a tube like this. So I'm really excited to try that out. It's usually um, just in like these types of bottles. So I wonder if it's like thicker than a regular gel -X glue. And then I believe the last thing in this box are the nail tips, which I am so excited to show you guys because they are not just any type of nail tips. As you can tell from the name of these, Tipex, they do have a um, apex like built into the nail. So it is a pre-sculpted nail and it already has an apex, but with regular nails, they would just be like super curved and might not fit everyone's nail. But with these nails, the apex is like built on the top of it rather than just being like super curved. So it makes the apex, if that makes any sense. I hope it does. But um, yeah, this one is probably a little bit too big for me. So I'm just going to show you kind of what I mean on my nail look at that apex that looks so good and it's like like i was saying it's like super thick and durable like there's no way i could bend this all the way they are so so strong and even though they're thick it's still thin where the cuticle area is so it still looks natural they kind of remind me of like a magnifying glass. They come in 12 different sizes as well. So that is a pretty good range. So in the other box is an electric nail drill. So let's go ahead and unbox this. I am so excited. It's purple. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's a little instruction manual right here. That's kind of nice. It's like attached to the box instead of a separate piece of paper. And this was kind of surprising to me. It actually comes with a brick. 
Usually in nail kits like this, you don't get a brick and you kind of just have to like use your own. So that's really, really nice. You get a brick to plug the USB into. And then um, it comes with some sanding bands and drill bits. So here are some drill bits it comes with. And then in this box, it has the barrel bit for the sanding bands and then the sanding bands. If I can get it open. Oh, okay. There we go. So yeah, here those are. I'll show you the nail drill. So underneath here is the cord and everything. So just the USB and then it looks like you use this to control it. I've never used um, one like this, so that's interesting. Um, and then here is the actual nail drill itself. I'm absolutely obsessed with this because it's purple. It's just so, so pretty. I'm really excited to try it out. I am starting on the nail set now. I'm going to start with sizing out the nail tips, just finding which nail tip fits my natural nail the best. So this one looks definitely to be too big. So I'm gonna go a size down. And this one seems to fit a little bit better. I might have to do a little bit of filing along the sides, but I think this is a pretty good size for my thumbnail. So I'm just going to continue that on the rest of my nails and I'll talk to you in a bit. Okay, so I'm done sizing out, but some of them don't fit my nail perfectly, so I am going to be filing the sides a little bit, um, just with my 100-180 grit file, just like so. Um, really, just wherever it doesn't fit your natural nail and it's too big, like it might be overlapping onto your skin or anything like that, just file that area of the nail down. So once you're done filing, it should fit sidewall to sidewall, not overlapping onto your skin or cuticle. And if it's squeezing your nail or showing part of your natural nail, then that means you probably need a bigger size. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue that on the rest of the nails so that need to be filed. Another thing I notice is these are really easy to file just because they're so um, thick and sturdy. You can just hold on to it a lot easier than with like a regular, a regular nail, just like average nail tip that is kind of flimsy and um, just like super thin. You can't grip onto it as well. So these are really easy to like hold on to when you are filing. So that is really nice. And these are definitely the strongest nail tips I have ever used. And it looks like my pinky does not need to be filed. And usually with nail tips, there's gonna be like a little piece right here. 
So you'll just like file that off super easy. I'm going to try the nail drill out now and prep my um, nail tips. So you just turn this, I think, to release this. I'm just going to put the barrel bit in here so I can use a sanding band and then you twist this back to lock it so it doesn't fall out when you have it on. And then I'll just pop a sanding band on there. So this controls it, the speed and forwards and reverse. So if you go down, it'll go the opposite way. And then up is forwards. So I am just um, filing the underside of the nails where it's going to be touching my natural nail. And this just helps it stay on a little bit better. I'm just brushing the dust off of the nails from filing and then we will get into my natural nail nail prep. For my nail prep on my natural nails, I'm starting out with pushing back my cuticles. Now I'm just going to buff my nails, make sure to get all the corners and edges. And you're going to want to do this with a buffer that is rough to the touch. Um, Cause I know there's the smooth buffers, but you do not want to smooth out your nails before applying Gel X nails um, because the gel sticks on to your nails a lot better when they are a little roughened up instead of being smooth gel doesn't stick on to smooth surfaces very well next i'm going to use this model one's dehydrator and just apply that to my nails if you don't have a dehydrator, that's okay. You can always use acetone or rubbing alcohol to clean off your nails. Um, but what the dehydrator does is, as you can tell from the name, it dehydrates your nails um, and just gets out all those natural oils you have in your nails. After adding dehydrator into my nail prep routine or even just acetone, that drastically changed how long my Gel-X nails stayed on. So it'll definitely help your Gel-X nails stay on a lot longer if you use dehydrator or acetone on your nails or even rubbing alcohol will help cleanse them and get rid of some of those oils. Next, I'm going to apply the Model One's Nail Primer. This is also an optional step. I don't really know if it helps that much. Um, maybe a little bit. I haven't tried it enough times though to actually see if it helps or not. I've only tried this like a couple times. 
but this came with the dehydrator so I just like might as well use it see if it helps my Jolox nails stay on a little bit longer and when I first got this for some reason I thought you had to cure it just because it was in like a dark bottle so I thought it was like some sort of gel but you don't have to cure it it's air dry and you also don't need a lot you can do a pretty thin layer of primer Now I'm taking the Five Angels Foundation Base Gel and applying that to all of my nails. I feel like this base coat was really easy to apply and I like how it's not too thin. I've used base coats where they're like super thin and then they easily flood your cuticles and everything. But this one is pretty thin but like not too thin for a base coat. Now I'm just going to cure that in my lamp. If you ever feel a burning sensation on your nail beds when doing gel nails, all you have to do is take it out of the lamp, just wait a couple seconds, and then you can put it back in and it shouldn't burn. And that is like a normal thing, so there's nothing wrong with you if that does happen. Um, you just have to take it out of the lamp and it'll stop burning and then you can put it back in. So here is the nail lamp and I am really happy. It is a motion sensing one, which makes it like 10 times easier. I'm just taking the nail glue now and my first nail tip and we will see how this nail glue works. I feel like it's just like rhinestone glue kind of. It reminds me of rhinestone glue. And I just don't know how much I should put on here because I usually just use like the traditional gel nail glue when doing gel X nails and not like one in a tube. So this is new to me. I don't know, that might be enough. We'll see. Yeah, that was definitely way too much. So I'm just going to wipe some of that off and then try again. All right, so now I know you definitely don't need as much as you think. Like it looked like there wasn't much on there when I was doing my thumbnail, but there was actually a lot on there. So maybe I'll just try this, see if that's enough or if it's too much. All right, that seemed to be the right amount of glue for that nail. I am actually starting to really like this gel nail glue just because it's thicker and it's harder for it to like seep out when you apply the nail to your natural nail. And once you get the hang of it and like know how much to put on the nail, I feel like it's pretty beginner friendly.
And I was just doing flash cures in the miniature nail lamp, so I am going to do a full cure in my larger nail lamp. Here are how the nails are looking now. I was thinking about clipping them a little bit because I usually don't have nails this long, but at the same time, I kind of want to keep the length because I think they look really good. I decided not to chop them off. So I am going to be doing a all white nail set. So first I'm just going to start out with painting all of my nails white with this Savvy Land gel polish. I got a little bit on my cuticles, so I'm just gonna clean that up. I have gotten a few comments asking what these brushes are called, and I think they're just called like micro applicator brushes. They're really good for fixing mistakes when you're doing nail art, or just like this, when you accidentally get a little bit of gel polish on your skin. I did end up doing two coats of this, but I only filmed myself doing the first coat. So just so you know, I did do two coats of the white gel polish. So all of the nails are going to be white, like I was saying, even the nail art, but all of the nails are going to be slightly different. So on this first nail, I am just putting on some top coat because I am going to be putting some white glitter over it and the top coat is just going to act as a glue for the glitter. This is the white glitter I am going to be using. So without curing that top coat, I'm just going to pour the glitter over my nail. It is going to get pretty messy, but I do have a sheet of paper underneath this, so it'll be fine. So you're just going to leave it like this and then cure it right away. Now that it is cured, I'm just going to dust it off and the loose pieces of glitter will come off. And then I'm just going to use this shiny top coat and I've just been using this Ailsa gel top coat. The glitter still isn't completely smooth after the first top coat so I am going to buff it a little bit and then apply a second top coat. For the next nail, it is going to be matte, so I'm just using the Savvy Land Matte Top Coat. So I have these cute little flower nail charms, and I'm just going to be using the white one on my index fingernail. I'm just going to use the Tipex nail glue to glue on these flowers. I was thinking it would be really cool if I just did like 3D polka dots like this, but I don't know if I'll do that but that would look really cool. Mm -hmm. 
Actually, I changed my mind again. I think I'm not going to use the big one. I'm just going to use the medium and small sizes. So on my next nail, I'm going to try using some chrome on here. Okay, so it's a nice pearl color, maybe slightly pink. I'm sorry guys, I changed my mind again. So I did wipe off the chrome and I'm just going to do a plain shiny nail here. I thought the chrome was really pretty, but with the other nails, I just didn't like it that much. And I feel like this would just match better. On my ring fingernail, I am going to be doing another glitter nail, but this time it's going to be matte glitter instead of shiny glitter so i'll just put in matte top coat over the glitter this time and then also i might add some pearls on this nail too so just like i did before i'm just pouring the glitter over the nail and then just sweep off the extra glitter and then I'm just going to use the Savvy Land Matte Top Coat again and apply that to the glitter nail. Here are those pearls I was talking about. I'm just going to glue some on to my ring fingernail and the matte glitter didn't really turn out exactly how I wanted it to, but I mean, it still does look interesting. You can somewhat see the glitter still, just not that much, but I think it'll still be okay. So once again, I am just using the Tipex nail glue to glue these on. I'm also going to go around this pearl that has a lot of extra glue just so I don't have to clean it up as much afterwards. Like I could just file it off after it cures, but I think it's just easier to wipe it off now. Okay, now finally for the last nail. This is going to be a bit of ex an experiment because I haven't tried these before but these are called caviar beads so they're just really tiny little white beads and i'm just going to do a top coat on my pinky nail and then just like dip it in it is like 1 30 in the morning right now so i am definitely ready to go to bed after this but I am having a lot of fun with this nail set. It's definitely worth it to stay up. And then instead of the glitter where I just poured it, I don't want all of the beads to like roll away. I'm just going to dip it. And then I'm going to cure it. So that's cured. I am going to dust it off now. I guess that's not really working. I might just kind of have to take some off with my hand. 
I just don't want there to be like a pile of them on the nail. Okay, so it looks like not all of them stuck onto the nail. So I am going to go in with a top coat again, um, just in the areas that they didn't stick on the nail and then I'll do the same process. Okay, I think that looks pretty decent. So I'm just going to go in with a shiny top coat and hopefully it'll look good. <laughs> Thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I know this is like one of my longest videos, if not the longest video I have ever made on this channel. So if you stuck around till the end, thank you so much. That means so much to me. And um, I hope to see you in my next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Have an amazing day. Bye.